go. All right, so this is season three, episode two. Yep. Episode two. Look, look at us. We have done two podcasts in <laughs> January. This is a record I know. for us. Are we going to try to do two a month? We could try and do two a month. Could that be our uh, 2024 goal? 2024 goal for the Impulsive Duo is to do two podcasts I, a month. Well, and I think we've gotten better about just like not needing to be so perfect about it. Like I would always be like, oh, but then I got to go shower. And like, what are we going to talk about? And because we've, you know, we're recorded, but this one we're not. We're because we're, we're in the car, so you guys might have some background noise. We're doing a, another podcast on the road. So you might have road trip ASMR yeah. podcast. Well, like when we go to Vegas, we'll do, when we're driving, yeah. we'll do one then too. So we can always, yeah. Yeah, so it just, it's, it's easier that way. Plus it's actually more conversation talk for us. It's not like forced. Yeah, when it's forced, it's hard. Um, but we are going to share, we are headed back from Kearney, Nebraska, back to Lincoln. We just are leaving a hotel takeover. Hotel Takeover, we went to Crazy Winter Nights Hotel Takeover. Yeah, and, and it's one of our first like real hotel takeovers. Like we went to the ASN Awards, which was like kind of a thing in Vegas, but it wasn't like, it was hotel, everyone say, but not quite a hotel takeover. Yeah. It, it was like at a different club, so yeah. it was an award show and. You kind of bounced all I mean, over yeah, the I guess place. it kind of was. Enough. But anyways, this is like an actual like straight up in the hotel the whole time like not leaving the hotel door dashing everything weekend well that was because it was cold <laughs> true it true. got down to like negative 12 in Carney this weekend yeah it was a, it, i didn't leave the hotel once no. thank you for checking out the impulsive duo podcast remember our content is for 18 and over make sure to hit that like and subscribe button oh and i and i love once again starbucks oh, starbucks and to go to walgreens yeah um, yeah, so we are just going to talk about our hotel takeover experience, like, and it was so, so fun. We had such a fun weekend. It was a lot of fun, and, we, and, and it's, and again, it, it kind of re-motivates you in this lifestyle of why we're in this lifestyle. Yeah, well, and, why we do what we do, because we get so caught up in, like, just all we do is, like, you know, posting content and talking about it and all of that at home, and so, like, from a business standpoint, when we actually, like, go do things... It re and like we met so many people that like recognized us, you know, from social media or follow Unicorn Landing. Um, it was just so re motivating um, to. Okay, sorry, there was a there was a pause there. It was it was re really re <clears throat> re motivating just to to meet cool people again. Yeah, and to see why we do what we do and people that appreciate our content and like say that we actually have helped them and like help them learn different things and people that have met people on unicorn landing that is like so you know what i mean so mm -hmm. it just it re it does re-energize me to make content and be you know like be a part of the lifestyle it, it from you know a pleasure and business standpoint yeah so so we got there we checked in it started on friday mm -hmm. um we were a vendor there yeah. for unicorn landing so we were a vendor so there was like a vendor convention room like you know like a big ballroom type thing that had all the vendors in it and um it was kind of cool to see how many vendors showed up yeah there were there's a lot of like oh, there's all type a lot of people you know like kind of like craft business type you know that made like there was like a big t-shirt like upside down pineapple creations was there which they're pretty you know they do a lot of events like they have a lot like t-shirts like hats bugs, yeah. things like that um lots of like there was a couple different companies like that people that made tumblers there was the guy that made the the engraving company the engraving company the one the guy that made the um uh the candy the candy what was it called naughty pops yeah naughty pops naughty pops they had like penis and vagina like suckers and chocolate yep. it was actually a really good chocolate too <laughs> i had a i had a chocolate vagina obviously obviously you have to you have to have chocolate vaginas if you can I had a chocolate vagina. and then asn magazine was there so of course they had their big booth and crazy casp obviously whispers had a booth yeah kind of they didn't really bring any swag because i think that was like left out in their details but they were there um, and then just like several other companies, there was like artists, there was like the big company that had the leather, the yep. leather, like leather work company. And yeah. then there was the, there's a couple podcasters and clubs, a couple podcasters, clubs. Yeah. Um, and so it was just, it was cool to see all even the vendors and stuff who do all these different events and get to talk to them. 
And it was kind of cool. Like a lot of them would stop and talk to us because they were like, "Oh my God, we we follow you guys." I know. And then the one guy was like, "Dude, I should call my wife. She'll fly out just to meet you guys." I know. I know. We didn't talk to him again last night. Um, we never got. Did we get? A, we never got a picture with him. For no. His life. No. We, you uh, got one with him. You filmed a podcast. Yeah. Or, or filmed that was a probably TikTok good with enough. Him. You filmed a TikTok. With yeah, him. that's true. The. So yeah, we that was uh, the fun pineapple podcast. They're yep. great people. Follow them. Juicy debauchery. They're yep. really funny. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Go. They're a podcast as well. Um, and a club. And a club. They do both. Yeah. Juicy, the juicy debauchery. Uh, so yeah, they were. That lot- was that was. It was just so cool. Just uh, like everybody in that room and just setting up and seeing everybody setting up and like as soon as people started setting up like and we saw like there was like a vendor area that that I think is what really made it like hey this is gonna be kind of cool. Yeah. You know, just seeing seeing a whole vendor area. Yeah. So then there was just kind of like people could kind of mingle in and out. People were checking in. Yeah. That was on Friday night. And then uh, we did not decorate our room. No, we're not those types. So I'm like we I like. I don't know. I don't, I don't. Some I, people went all out. Some people go all out and decorate the rooms. I get really like, I don't want people to know where my room is. Yeah. I like my private quiet space. And I know a lot of people do like room crawls and like come to my room and, you know, they decorate up and put their pictures on the wall or, you know, that. And I'm just like, um, I like to go back to my room to hide and be quiet. And I don't really want anyone knowing where my room is. Cause what if somebody just shows up in my room and it's like knocking on my door? I don't know. I'm just I like, know. well that, that, and also the thing is, is too, is you're not drinking right now and I don't drink. And then it's like, it's not even like somebody would like necessarily, but like just drunk people that all of a sudden, Hey, let's go see what they're up to. Yeah, like bop, pounding on our door. Our no. That's, you know, that's Candace Snarek or the Impulsive Duo. Yeah. Like, because we had a small unicorn landing banner. Uh-huh. And I was like, oh, we could put it on our That's door. Right. And then our, Eric's like, no. no. I was like, oh, good call. Yeah. No. And, and you actually, I, I was really, I will say this, is I was super impressed with my wife's display in her booth. It, it looked really cool. And, yeah, it was cute. It was pink. And it was cute, <laughs> pink. And, and it was cool how many people, like, even stopping by, instead of, like, being, like, a new app where no uh, nobody's ever heard of you, it was, like, 50-50 of the people had heard yeah, of it. Yeah, some people had heard of it. Some people downloaded had, it. And some people were already users. We upgraded their accounts. Some girls were... Um, One girl met her first unicorn on there. She, she was it's, all excited to talk to me about she that. She was like, I met my first unicorn, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Um, and a bunch of people downloaded it while we were there. And they're from... All over, so it's kind of yeah. nice. I mean, a lot of like you know, like this area, a lot of people from Omaha, stuff Omaha, like that. But yeah. also people from all. I mean, there's some people from Iowa. There yeah. was um, the all. It kind of pulled all over, which was really cool. Yeah. Um, and then they had the events that were set up throughout the day. We didn't really go to any of the like seminars, but they had seminars on like um, BDSM. Yeah, there was like a flogging one. There was like a selfie seminar. There was a. Um, uh, bu- 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 I forget what else selfie seminar there was a like newbie in the lifestyle newbie, seminar yeah. there, so there's a, a whole handful of different seminars and yeah stuff but because we on. were a vendor we were kind of like at our table and like hanging out doing that so we didn't yeah go to any but yeah then friday night there was a so then we kind of went back to our room chilled for a little bit and then there was a the 80s dance party that was sponsored by yep. whispers um and so we went to that after much uh, crisis my my shirt broke you can never overpack. Yeah, you guys, that's the one thing. Like, I always, I try not to overpack too much, but I always, you know, as girls, we're always like, well, I'll bring an extra dress just in case, or I'll bring, you know, extra underwear, I'll bring extra this, just to like, you know, as girls, we might change our mind when we get there. And I did a little bit, but not nearly to the extent I normally do, and I was like having a panic attack. I didn't want to wear what I had brought, and then I had another shirt, and the zipper broke, and it was like a whole, like, tragedy, like... I was just like pacing around. I was like, I'm not going. I can't have anything to wear. Like, I legit didn't have anything to wear. No, you were getting upset. Like, and it's 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 hard as 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 your husband to sit there and be like, um, no, you look beautiful. I don't. <laughs> but it wasn't like I legit didn't have anything to wear. Yeah. I had jeans, and I was like, I don't. You're putting the jeans on with the one the one shirt know. and the zipper breaking. And then you original you went with your original dress. I though. know. And then I ended up wearing a dress. I just felt like too dressy. But I decided I wore it with tennis shoes. Uh huh. And I, it ended up being totally fine. It changed everything. Well, and it ended up being totally not as dressy as it, I could, like, I, I toned it down, and so it yeah. didn't look as dressy. And even though it was 80s night, I mean, it was pink and sparkly, but it wasn't, like, 80s, I don't know. Anyways, it ended up being fine, so yeah. I panicked for no reason. And then we, uh, we ended so up... we met this couple. Yeah. Yeah, so there, I mean, it was all different types of people at this event, 
And um, this one couple came in earlier, and they were they came actually because they saw us they, talk they, about they it. Saw, on, yeah, they follow us on TikTok and heard us talking about it. And they don't live too far, and they're like, "We'll come up. We want to like we want to meet them." And like, so they came out just for the night. They'd never been to a hotel takeover. No, or they, they've only mm -hmm. been to a club once. Mm -hmm. And so they came up and they were so cute. Yes. And we were like, oh, and we like totally hit it off with them. So we ended up hanging out with them like most of the night on Friday. Yeah. And we were out on the dance floor with them. I know. Her and I were dancing and having a good time. Um, but we did not play. No. Right? But, but they, they were we they were a lot of fun just to Yeah. Their to dynamic was a little different, like play style, which was totally, again, totally fine. Yeah. We just, um, we were just super like yeah we hit it off with them so we ended up yeah hanging and that's out the coolest them. thing is like just hitting it off with people with like no intentions of like hey we got to do something mm -hmm. just having fun oh, and just and just being able to like sit and talk with people and i mean and, she was hot if she's listening yeah she, she was, was hot she and they're and they're both uh they're both cute they're both they're both uh, it was attractive again there's attractive couple you know yeah. um and so it was a lot of fun just to sit and talk to them and talk to them about you know their experiences and and just be able to pe people watching is fun. Yes, we did. We did a lot of people watching. It was, uh, it was a. Uh, there was a lot of interesting outfits. And yeah. People kind of went all out with this '80s theme, and there was like guys in fishnet tops, fishnet and, tops and leather pants. Yeah, and, and like just it was so fun, and then not like in a judgy way. Like it was just so people were just living their best. It was so fun to watch. And, and it's dancing. And, and then it's funny because you like look around and you're like, God, I wish I had the confidence mm -hmm. of some of these people. Because it's like, man, like, I want to be able to do that. And you're like, there, there's that part of you, though, that's like, oh, I, can't, I can't do that. Like, And then you get all self-conscious. Oh, yeah, for sure. And, and just seeing people out there just not giving a shit. And well, and being fun. sober is a whole nother, like, a whole other world. Like, I, I yeah. you know, you know, when you're sober, you're not nearly as like, woo! <laughs> no, it, it's hard. And, and even when you're sober, like you're, we were talking even last night, like, I feed off of your energy. So yeah, you're... you're all woohoo! I'll get woohoo for a while too. With yeah, you. yeah. Eric will feed off my energy. Yeah, if I if I'm buzzed or drunk and having a good time, he'll kind of like yeah feed off of that. But if I'm sober too, and we're both just kind of like yep okay yeah, we're just kind of like hey, this is fun. How do we talk to people? We did we dance <laughs> though. We slow dance. They did, did some slow dancing, and we felt like it was high school. I felt like it was high school prom again. It's cute though. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so that was Friday night. We didn't stay out too late. Um, and then we just went back to our room. Yeah, we went, uh, went back to our room and I guess we did. I mean, it was like midnight. It was yeah. I mean, even yeah, even for us early for us, it was still midnight like one by the time we got to bed. Yeah, not me. I slept. I didn't sleep good. Remember? I, oh, like, yeah. I was like really stuffy. It was like just because it was so cold outside, the heaters in those rooms were just like cranking, and everyone. A lot of people were saying they were like, "I'm like still kind of stuffy." Like, yeah. No, I like couldn't breathe, so I couldn't. I didn't sleep very well that, but. It was fine. I ended up getting finally sleeping. But we, uh, and then on Saturday, we had more of the vendor booths. We got up. Slept in a little bit, got Eric, up. Eric made the truck to Starbucks made, in negative six degree weather. Negative six degree weather. At least the, the sun was coffee. out. It was negative six, but there was sun. So yeah. at least it wasn't like, when you think negative six, you think like cold, blowing wind and like, you know, snow. Yeah. But at least like the sun was the sun, out. The sun was out. It wasn't blowing quite as bad as it was our trip there. Our trip there was white oh, knuckling yeah. and white Oh, out. yeah. So when we landed, I guess we didn't say that. We, we landed in Lincoln and had a drive to Kearney. And we did that on Friday morning. And it was like so windy. Like snow was covering the roads. Like it was, it was, yeah, it was kind of a sketch drive. It was a sketchy drive. Eric was like gripping the steering wheel uh -huh. so so saturday then we ended up um we were at the there's some snow right there yeah we were at the vendor booth for for we, several hours yeah several hours and just meeting people and handing out Jimmy John's. got some jimmy john's for uh for met a lunch. bunch more people that came in there on saturday and yeah handed out swag and it was um, cool because like it progressively more people kept showing up yeah well they wanted to come check everything out it was just like everyone kind of did it like when in their free time mm -hmm. and then we ended up talking to upside down pineapple creations for a while they're really cool people and found out kind of what they do and all the events yeah they're like a they poly do. couple and the four of them like run this business and they kind of like take turns like traveling around going to different events and like mm -hmm. like how cool like what a cool like Kind of like living on the road, just yeah. living your best life. Two of them work from home still and, yeah. and remote. And I was like, how fun. So it was just kind of fun to hear everyone's story and lifestyle story and yeah. what they do. So we ended up, yeah, doing that. And then, 
Oh, then there was the pool party. And we, then we decided we, there, there was a pool party, so we finally decided we wanted to do one of the parties. We had to make something. I know. I was like, well, we can't just sit in this vendor room. Like, luckily, we weren't selling anything, so we didn't have product to like leave. Right. And it was kind of slowing down because everybody was going to the pool party and doing the seminars, and there wasn't really any, you know, many people in there. So I was like, we could, we just had swag, so like we could leave our table. Are you a female, 18 and over, interested in the lifestyle? Make sure to check out Unicorn Landing at unicornlanding.com or check out the app on Google Play or iOS today. And that was a cool thing too is about the hotel takeover is is no one was like naked or or having uh -huh. sex or any of that. So like new people even, it's not really intimidating. Yeah, nudity at this hotel, this hotel takeover, nudity was only allowed in um, based on like laws and different things. Yeah. Nudity was only allowed in your hotel room. And so it's not even like people were getting naked in the pool and like you're watching all this stuff. Like, I mean, yeah, we saw a few people make out and like getting kind of, you know, freaky on the dance floor and uh -huh. some really some scandalous outfits. But it was never just like, you know, if so it was really good for people, yeah, that are new and kind yeah. of like apprehensive to that or not quite sure how they feel about because everybody was fully clothed the entire time. Like, and everyone very was respectful. respectful of the rules. Oh, and, yeah. And all of that there was security there which made it feel even more safe yeah and it was like you know a lot of couples and just very like yeah like nothing i didn't feel weird or creeped out once no. the entire weekend no not at all that one guy did come up to me at the booth but he was just kind of drunk like he was just like not i mean he wasn't like wasted he was just kind of like hey and hey. He, i mean he was with a lady because i heard, saw him talking to her it's not like he was just a single guy but he was just like hey he was like talking to me and you were you were at another booth and I was like, hey. And even that what didn't like creep me out or I felt uncomfortable. I was just it was more just I was like, hey man. <laughs> like hey. how drunk are you? It's like three in the afternoon. Like other than the, but like I never once felt like like uncomfortable. No, not one time the entire and like and I'd go off by myself. Like yeah. when you went to the bathroom, you were talking to somebody, I went like I never once felt or like you ran to the room uh -huh. really quick. Like I never once felt like I couldn't be alone or like right. nervous. Yeah, no, never, never so, one time. So it was really, really comfortable, really safe. Yeah. Um, with so we went to, oh, sorry. Yeah. So we went to the pool party, and it wasn't like a ton of. I mean, there was a decent amount of people there. The pool was a little cold. Yeah, when, they tried once to you got warm in, it. it warmed up a yeah, little. I mean, it was just it's indoor pool, it was, but like it, it was. Yeah, they tried to warm it a little, but it was really cool. I wish I could like describe it, but it literally looked like you were in like some Mexican tiki. Bar. I, yeah, I took was, a photo it of it, which I'll post. Cool. I'll post was, on Instagram or something, or on our Facebook page. You know, like ten years ago, twenty years ago, like that was like awesome. You know. Oh my god! It was yeah. I was like, where are we at this like indoor? Like they made this. It's so it's an older hotel, which yeah. You're not gonna get the fanciest, nicest hotels for takeovers because they're literally taking over an entire hotel. Yeah, it's not. It's not gonna be like the Hilton. Yeah, or something like and that. so this is an older convention center, but you know, but it, it was nice, very yeah, clean, very, very clean. Yeah, not like gross or anything yeah. it was just older but so you could tell but like you know back in that like when that was built that thing was the shit oh yeah man and the big, cool big, pool big, with big, like big a bridge and, and yeah the bridge it had like the pool setup was like a big giant like circle lazy river type mm -hmm. setup and yeah. just it was cool to see everybody in there mingling and like talking to each other and that's the cool thing is like i'm very introverted when we go out we're, we decided we're not very good minglers we're not and we aren't the best minglers but it's cool because there's a lot of people that are good minglers and even just like getting into the pool like like girls and stuff are talking to you and they're like oh yeah it's cold and and, and don't worry you'll warm up when you get in here and like everybody was just so kind and except when we like, got out they're like you're getting out yeah, and i was everybody. like i'm cold yeah I started to get cold. We both were like, okay, we did it. We, we were in. We were in it. We were in the pool. I think we stayed there for like 30 minutes and we were like, we're cold. We're cold now. And then it's also hard too because like they had like the uh, mobile bars around where you could buy uh, shots and drinks and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and of course, not drinking, you're, you're going to be cold and you're not getting the liquid warmth. <laughs> nope. So we're just like, yeah, we're cold now. Uh -huh. So we got out after a little bit, and like I mean, it was fun. We got in. We mingled. We we said hi to a few people. We uh, got in, and then we, we were got like, in, we mingled a little. Okay. And then we got out. And then we got um, out. And then we did our. Um, then that night was the. No, um, we took a nap. Yeah, well, well, we did our, our honorary nap that we you always. You have to take, take a nap. You're gonna go rally and party again. Although yeah. it made me a little bit like more groggy and tired. That's a bad thing about naps. Sometimes it just makes me more tired and groggy. Mm -hmm. Well, it, it's hard too because like, you know, sometimes. Well, plus it with your heart too. Yeah, I know. I get heart like I have SVT and like I get heart palpitation-y things, and 
and I like kind of was like had that yesterday for some reason, which I usually don't. But I think I was I haven't been drinking nearly enough water this weekend. I bring think. water with you and bring cups with you and yeah, keep yourself hydrated. I think I didn't wasn't drinking as much water as I was used to, and I was like hot when I I don't know. I just was kind of like, but I ended up being fine. I yeah, I have medicine and I I was fine, but it just kind of like will throw me off for a little bit. So, yes. and I drank that big diet Coke Zero and mm -hmm. I drank the whole thing. I was kind of like trying to wake up and sometimes caffeine will give me like yeah my, it makes my heart like I'm really sensitive to that stuff so uh, but we did take a nice little nap and yep. we actually I think we both fell asleep yeah no I do um, definitely and so that we, we, we always try I to take a nap to rally I think I slept so good I was drooling oh wake up in, <laughs> wake up in, a, in, in a not so good wet spot I know <laughs> and so then we uh we had we we're gonna do photos Oh yeah, they had like a professional photographer. So that so Saturday night was the formal night where everybody like dressed nice, you know, like yeah. fancy. And so they had a professional photographer come in and take like pretty much like prom photos, but just a fun way to get like your photo taken before. So um, that kind of came with your ticket. So we had um, we went and had our photo. We ordered DoorDash to the room. That was the thing. There wasn't a, ho a restaurant at this hotel, um, which would have been nice if there was. But I could see how. That would have been a lot for the hotel just for this group. Yeah. Like, you know what Especially I mean? Especially because it was so cold, that, that restaurant would have been pushed to the max. Because there was actually a lot of people there. Yeah. So, they... So, everybody was... All, some people went out and, like, went and got groceries and different things. Um, but we ended up, like, door and everything. I think we door Panera. So, while we were getting ready, we ate in our room. Um... And then we went and got, yeah, our, our professional photo taken. And, and dressing that night wasn't as difficult as the night before. No, but there, we did have a bathing suit issue, though, too. Oh, yeah. And then I brought, oh, sorry. I brought my unicorn landing bathing suit, and it came, like, unstrung. It's like a string bikini, and we could not get it to restring. It kept, like, anyways, it was just a whole one of those things. Where I was like, why do I keep having outfit tragedies? This was the most outfit tragedies you've ever had at oh, an event. I know. It was awful. Luckily, I, luckily I brought a backup swimsuit. Mm -hmm. So we were fine there. So, yeah, so I, it was formal night, which I had already brought. Yeah, I got my dress that I was going to wear. So that one was easy to, um, I, no, no tragedy there. Although my shoe was broke, but I already knew my shoe was broke. Was yeah, broke we need to just get you new shoes. I know, I just didn't before the trip. So it was fine. So, yeah, we got, took our photos. And then we, uh, they did like kind of a little award show thing. So we just went in and like sat with, luckily a lot of our friends were there. So like Michael from ASN. Tom and Tina from Whispers was there. Um, some of the girls, like Bex and, uh, mm -hmm. and that Nikki girl. Um, and that's what's fun is, is, at least with us, is we've gotten to the point that you know people at these events some. So I can see how as a new couple or in, uh, somebody new to lifestyle, it's like, it is cool because everyone's very sociable because we even sat next to two people that we didn't know and you just start talking to them. Yeah, like all of a sudden you and, know things about their life and yeah, what they do for I, I a mean, living. I, I, she, and... She's ADHD, he's a, a college professor, he, he was a professor in, in North Carolina. I mean, I can tell you oh, all I, about this You guy. were talking, you were sitting closer to him and I was uh, kind of sitting over here and so I didn't really get to talk to him as much. I didn't know all that. That's oh cool. yeah, no, I sat and had this whole long conversation. Oh, they were really nice. My story. They met on field. Um, oh, cute. Yeah, it was like, I'm like, oh my God, you guys are like a cute couple were they married Have um, they, or they knew or they, they were they were they've been in the lifestyle for a while mm -hmm. both but they're they've only been together for a couple years um and they've been to these kind of events and stuff before um i didn't go into if they're married or not um but i mean they're they're a solid relationship oh well yeah no i was just i i you just yeah you never know i yeah. love that's i love that so, so even if you're new and you don't know people, like you just meet people, yeah. it's, it's inevitable that you're going to meet people and just talk to people because there are some well, super extra. Well, and people. everybody, yes, and everybody's there doing the same thing. It wasn't clicky. Like, yeah, we had friends there, but we talked to uh, hundreds of other people that were not, you know what I mean? Like the, we knew people, but there was a lot of people there that didn't know people. So those yes. people tend to kind of gravitate and you just either sit at a table or start mingling and somebody, you, people will start talking like it is because mm -hmm. that's why you're there. You're not, it's people are there to meet other people right whether yeah. playing or not it's just what people do in the lifestyle so you do end up mingling and meeting a lot of like really and cool that was a, people. that was the cool thing too is it was not <laughs> clicky it was no it, it, you know even, and you knew a lot like cole you know the guy that throws it with crazy casbah like obviously he knows a lot of people there's a lot of these people that do this every they, go every they know year each other but none cole. of them were like like I didn't feel like I could walk up to their group and be like, hi. And they would have been like, Hey, like everyone, yeah, everyone was so welcoming and like kind. Like it was never like, 
You never felt I mean, like, I never oh, I felt like it was a group. group. No, yeah. I didn't feel like there was just like groupy clicks. I did, I saw there were friends, but you have to, there's such a difference. Right. And yes, I feel like I could have walked up to any of the groups and like start people or groups of people and been yeah. like, hi, and introduced myself and nobody would have like, they would have been super they, kind. They would have, they would have just been talkative to you. Everybody was talking to everybody. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it didn't feel clicky like even the slightest. No. Even for it being like, yeah, like they know a lot of people and some of these people like live in this, you know, live in this area and do a lot of events together, stuff like that, but it still did not feel clicky whatsoever. Yeah, yeah there was there's no there was no clicks, no 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 anything, and that was that was the nicest part of yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. So we so the couple that we had met the night before, they were only staying for the one night. So they were we're, we kind of joked like, well, who are we gonna hang out with tomorrow night? You guys are leaving us, but we did have friends there. So we ended up sitting at the table, yeah, with like with ASN ASN and Whispers and whispers all of them. Just, so just we hanging and talking to them. Yeah, they did like a little award show at K the Crazy Winter Nights. He gives yeah. out a couple different awards like for people that help him and acknowledges his you know his staff and all of that. So that was fun. And then it was just dance party, really. I mean, yeah. there's open bar or not open bar, not open get bar. cash bar, you, you cash bar. <laughs> but you, um, but it was uh, and dance floor opened up, and, yeah, and a lot DJ, of people were big dancing. Dance floor and, and, and it was fun. That music was fun. They were doing. I mean, we, we Eric and I did the Cuban Shuffle. We did the Cuban Shuffle. We even slow danced too. We did slow dance. There we, was some fun slow dancing. Yeah. Makes you. And we were kind of joked because Journey came on, and it was you know this faithfully, and Eric's like. Aren't we a bunch of swingers? Why are we all and everyone was singing along? We're like, why are we all singing about being faithful? Like it was funny. <laughs> and then we're we were all being like romantic. There were like two slow songs, and everyone's just like so in love with their partner. We're like, is this supposed to be a swingers party? We're all being a little romantic and lovey here. It was really funny. Which was, obviously swingers are romantic and lovey. Yeah. It was just super funny. The, we're the, like the irony. Faith, in it, Eric you know? was like faithfully. And, you, and everybody's always like, oh, you're not happy with your spouse, or you're not pleased at home, and everyone's just, like, faithfully dancing with their partner. Yeah, we're all like, faithfully? What? We're all a bunch of fucking swingers. Exactly. We're like, faithfully, except when we, like, decide to fuck other people sometimes for fun. Ha ha. Ha But in the old I'm faithful. I'm always faithful. Um, Anyways, we just thought it was... It was like, funny, and, and then and then as the night kind of progressed, you start you did see people kind of get into that next level of a yeah, and, and again, and Eric and I were sober, and so I was like, I don't know, I think just from all weekend talking to people, and I was like, I want, and I kind of was like, it got kind of got in my head. I was like, why am I not being fun? Like, I want to mingle and like I want to play, but like I was almost mingled out. I was yeah. like, I'm tired of talking. I know that sounds horrible. I mean, that doesn't but, sound horrible. It, well, no, it, 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 every time we go to one of these events, I learn something new even too. And that's when I was talking to Upside Down Pineapple Creations. And she's like, yeah, we don't, we barely even go like at these events. She had to convince her boyfriend uh, to go to yeah, but they're the, more on like the, a business level, the, which I guess yeah. we were, but it yeah, and, and but uh, even, we're there to socialize. We're too. there to socialize too, but she's like, we don't get to socialize that much because even she was saying like we're burnt out, like mm -hmm. you're, you're setting up, you're breaking down, and, and it was like okay, you, you do drain your social battery on a different level almost than you do if you go just to go and have fun. Yeah, so we were just kind of peopled out. I was like, I have talked to a lot of people this weekend. I'm mingling, and like again, you're at this lifestyle event, and I'm like. I want to play and there were so there, so there were, was a different crowd on saturday night than friday night for sure and there yeah. was like a lot of like there's there a lot of people that we would have played yeah with. there were some cute people that showed up on friday or saturday night and we were like huh there was like a one cute couple that stopped us on the they were like oh, are you guys leaving yeah and i was it, like it, 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 she even uh, had short cute blonde I know, hair which Eric and stuff loves, and i was, just and like, I was oh. like uh we'll be back i was like we'll be back but i was just like not in the i don't know i just was kind of and i wasn't tired like i need to go to bed tired i was just like Oh, to mingle like and drained. Like, you were, you and were, now, now that it's today, I'm like, God damn it. Yeah, no, that's the worst part. It's the next day when you you have the energy back and you're recharged. You're like, oh man, why couldn't I have just pushed it a little bit harder? And yeah, I was like, what is wrong with me? And then they probably were like, oh, they didn't want to talk to us. They never came back. And I'm like, no, it wasn't. No. That, they were very cute. So, so, if, so if couples don't so, come back, so to couple, you, they could be burnt out. If you them. are listening, I don't know if you even knew who we were. You just said hi to us briefly, um, and you were had cute short blonde hair, and you grabbed us on the way out. You guys Trust were me, hot. You we guys were both very cute. We would have fucked you. Yes, but I was just like, then we were running around, then we were talking to other friends, and then we were talking about staying another night. And, and then even that one Then group, I had to call the hotel in Lincoln, and like, it was just like a whole like... It became stressful all of a sudden. All of a sudden, like, our evening got a little stressful for a little bit, and then we were talking to like, you know, some of our friends, and they were all outside. It got really hot in the ballroom, and so a lot of people were out in the hallway in the other room, like, we were all like cooling off. And then they had a nacho bar too. And they so. had a nacho bar, so like, you know how drunk people like to get food, so from like 8 p.m. to 1 a.m., they had a whole like nacho and taco bar where you could like 
build your own nachos. And yeah. so, of course, Eric and I, like, I feel like a fat ass because I eat nachos at midnight. <laughs> My stomach this morning is still like, what the... Like, I'm not even remotely hungry. I know. And Same. it is 11.30 a.m. And I am not even kind of hungry. Uh-huh. Because I ate nachos at midnight, but whatever. Went we, on vacation. We, we even had a girl stop us, and she was like, I think you're both attractive. Yeah, this like, unicorn like, stopped we, us. We she stopped me twice. So I knew... Because she stopped me once earlier in the night, and I was like, is she flirting with me? Um, but I, 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 she seemed a little buzz. So I was like, maybe she was just being friendly. She was asking me where something was. And then later, and then later in the night, she walked. She said something. She saw us later. Yeah, she in the saw. Night, and then she grabbed my arm. And, and then it she grabbed you. Us. But by then, I could tell she was pretty toasted. Yeah. So that's the problem too. Is she was pretty like toasted. I mean, and not so drunk that she was like falling over or anything. But she like grabbed Eric's arm. Well, she was. To, I actually like. She was talking to a guy. Yeah, I know. She and was she, like stopped. <laughs> and she was talking to this guy, and Eric and I walked by, and she just like totally like turns her back to this guy and grabs Eric, and I was like. And not grabs Eric and like, oh my God, don't touch me sort of way. She was like, hey, like just to get his attention. Yeah. And she was like, I think you guys are both so sexy. Come find me later. And I, I hope she was like, this poor guy was probably like, what the fuck? I know. He was like, wait, I thought I was going to get some. <laughs> and she was cute. Yeah. I mean, if we were, it, it's one of those things like we, we almost have to like find a way to like budget our time and our energy so that no, if night, I would have had like three drinks in it, I'd have been like, let's go. If we would, if you would have had a couple drinks in you, I guarantee you we would have been playing with somebody that night. I know. And I, because I think my heart was like acting up earlier and I was trying not to drink. I like, I, I was trying not to drink January and I'm just trying not to really drink like that much in general. And then with my heart, when it was acting up, it kind of gave me an excuse. I was like, okay, I'm not going to drink tonight. I'm not going to push it. Mm. Um, and it's also hard when you are focused on, and I will say this, and I don't think it's something that you even acknowledge, and I think people who don't drink in this look lifestyle... The, look at the snow oh right God. there. Sorry, I was driving through like people, uh, a wind snowstorm. Well, it's, it's sunny, but it, the wind, the, the snow wind, is The blowing. wind is drifting the snow. Yeah. But the people that are sober, I think, can, can acknowledge this a lot, because like once you've been sober for a while, like you don't think about it anymore. Like You don't think about alcohol. And like I can even tell with you, it's like if, if it's not like your lifestyle in a sense, it is almost that little bit of a struggle. Like it's almost like on your mind a little bit, yeah. you know, where you're like, oh wait, don't drink, don't drink. And there's like this little internal battle that is. No, actually... it is internal battle because I don't have a, I'm not, I don't have a drinking problem. Right. I'm just choosing not to drink, and because it does fuck with my stomach a little bit, and you, and know, you already had the heart. Yeah, and know? my heart was acting up, so I was like trying to be, you know, so I had, I, I had that like conscious decision, but also. I can just go to the bar and get a drink. Right. Like, I'm not like not drinking. I don't, you know what I mean? You're, you're not a addict. I'm not who, an alcoholic. Who, anything, you know? my, my life revolves around me not drinking where yeah. yours doesn't. Yeah. And so I was like, oh, I could just easily go grab a beer. Like, I was like, I could go get a light beer. I could go get a, mm -hmm. you know, a, just a cocktail. And so there was a struggle for a little bit. And my problem is like, okay, for that couple hours between. 9 p.m. and midnight, absolutely. Those three hours, I would have loved a few cocktails, just take the edge off, have a little bit of a buzz. I get Be a more, little bit more chatty. I get more social, more flirty, but then I don't sleep well when I drink because then I'll get more heart palpitations, typically, depending on how much I drink. Uh -huh. And then I, and I'm and i groggy in the morning. And, like, there's so many repercussions for me for drinking, and I don't metabolize alcohol, and so I get really swollen. And so it's like those three hours, I it's like a battle where I'm like, oh, I would be so much more fun and flirty and I would you know probably play with these people but mm -hmm. then I'm like but is it worth it later right yeah and, and that and that is a little and I want because this was the first time I actually kind of watched that struggle with you and it was like as your partner and stuff I, it's not like it's not like I'm gonna like do whatever you want to do babe and yeah, so I'm it's, like, it's here hard I'm at this takeover we haven't played in a while there are some cute people I'm like trying to want to be but I was just like I'm peopled out yeah no it, it, it definitely it definitely got to the point where you do you kind of get peopled out yeah and and it does it makes it a little difficult so I mean my suggestion for anyone going to a hotel takeover is if you are one of those people that like acknowledge that you have a social battery and that your social battery does run out like pace yourself Otherwise, you can burn your social battery out so much to the point that you do get that where you're just kind of like, eh. Yeah, like multiple nights. Sometimes you can just go for one night, mm -hmm. skip, you know, skip like maybe some of the day things and just like chill with, with your partner in the room and like take it easy. And because if you want to go, you know, yeah, like I, and I mean, I wouldn't do anything different. Absolutely. I had, no. I still had a blast. We yeah, talked to people we had last a lot night. Of fun. I, we talked to people last night and hung out with, you know, like the people that we did know and we talked to a few people. Like, I don't feel like I, like, I got to yeah. kiss Tina a bunch. Oh. She just kept kissing me on the lips, and I'm like, 
Thank you, Tina. She's like, I just love you guys. I love <laughs> like, Tina. I love you too, Tina. I love Tina kisses everybody though. Remember? I know. Remember that's what she said about those one people, the people yeah. that we don't like. Yeah. At, um, that were that were like degrading her for somebody she that she kissed, kissed. She kissed some girl that was like a little bit heavier at yeah. the event, and they're like, "That's." And they literally looked at. So the owner of Whispers kissed this girl that's her friend, and apparently the girl she kissed is a little bit like thicker. Which who the f what who the cares? fuck cares? Like, uh, yeah, we don't body shame, and which I don't know who this girl is she kissed this is I'm just repeating a story I heard and those one people were like that's fucking disgusting they said that out loud to the owner of to Whispers the owner at, at their own club uh, anyways yeah um, that's my that's my shit talking about <laughs> um anyways but it was just it was so fun and and so finally we ended up just getting our nachos and then that's where we we also we got did, nachos at midnight yeah. and then we we realized again why we are afraid of going on a cruise Yes. So, so people ask us all the time, yeah, because we don't party and we're not big like woohoo's mm -hmm. like all the time. Like we can do it for a night or two, but we're not like so this girl, then this other girl like kept kind of flirting with Eric and you know, and me and like we were just kind of like, uh no, we're not really like in the I don't, yeah. And by that time we were not in any kind of playing mood. Well we this we person was drunk and we were stuff. not. Yeah. We were not, and my thing is like, no, like I, I you're you're a little too drunk now, uh -huh. like no. And so we kind of had to like almost avoid this person, not to like because we, not to be rude or anything, but it's just not to be rude because we didn't think they were cute, but we were just like, no, it's not gonna happen. Honey. Yeah. Like, and so we kind of had to avoid this person a little bit. So ours is like, what if you're stuck on a cruise ship for like a week with these people and something happens or you don't want to play with somebody and they're aggressive and then you have to keep seeing them every day? I know. I'm like, oh my god, I don't know if I could do that for a week. I know. I, I feel like I, Erica I, I would just be in feel our bad. Room. And then I would feel rude because we yeah. can be kind of antisocial sometimes, but not because we're rude, because we just get. Eric and I both are like severely ADHD and like can be a little bit in, introvert, and so like we get our battery runs out. Quickly. Yeah. And, and it's so it's like, man, what, what do you do? And then, <laughs> then like, do you hope that they were like drunk enough that they don't really fully remember or, <gasps> you know, but then of course you're sober. So you're, you're thinking about all this stuff that they're probably not even thinking about, but now you're paranoid the whole time. And that's just not, not our thing. So I know. It, it does kind of freak us out on the idea of doing a cruise. A cruise and just, Although next year ASN is doing a cruise uh, yeah, they're with, Virgin, try to do, yeah. with Virgin Cruise Lines and we will go. So we'll go. We'll, we'll just, go. We will go we'll definitely to support. We'll do anything to support ASN Magazine. We love them. They are amazing. We'll do anything in the world to support Club Whispers. Yeah. If you're in Vegas, Club Whispers is the club to go to. Yeah. But we... Um, but when it comes to a lot of the other stuff, it, it does kind of, uh, it does kind of, you know, it freaks us out a little bit, you know, just because of how we are just personality wise. And that's yeah. where so you have to like, you could be in this lifestyle without having to even go to hotel takeovers or go to cruises or go, you know what I mean? Like if it's not your scene, not your thing, don't force it to be, you could just like, we love our friends we hang out with at home, you know, occasionally. And we love to go to, like, you know, some events just for the night. Like, mm -hmm. it's okay to not be that gung-ho, party, drug, woohoo! look at me, I, I'm dressed like, you know, in yeah. scandalous outfit. Like, there was barely any of that there. Like, it was just, it was a very, like... No, like, like even it, people were dressed. To, well, it was cold out, but I mean, it was night. It was warm in the well, hotel. Well, I will but like, say this: like, because there were some really attractive people last night, and I will say this: like, women dressed in like sexy dresses, high cut, you know, off the leg and stuff. I don't know about some guys, but like, I would take that or over lingerie, a yeah. lingerie anytime. Like, I was looking at some of these women's dresses. I'm like, dude, you, like that dress makes you look fucking hot. Yeah. Oh yeah, fancy dresses yeah. like women, oh, like yeah. or a cut like where you can just kind of see their waist, but mm -hmm. then it's and then it's just like Jesus. Yeah. Um. So it's not all about just trying to dress. It's not all just sex glorification. No, like you're just dressed like a hooker and yeah. like trying to like. You know, or people are like, am I gonna fit in? Because I don't really like to wear that. I don't like to wear that shit at all. Yeah. And like, I. And you can come off so sexy in just a dress. Yes, you can wear a little black. What? There was literally all kinds of dresses. Yeah. There were like ball gowns. There were like more casual, just like black dresses. There was. You can literally wear whatever you. Want. And there was that one couple that showed up, and they weren't dressed up. They at weren't all. dressed up at all, and so they we, still look hot. So we don't know if they like didn't know, or because they had just checked in. We don't know if it was kind of like a last minute. They decided somebody lost their bag. We don't know. Yeah. But they were like, whatever. We're still gonna come and hang out, mm -hmm. not dressed up. Like, so yeah. It was all, all, all are welcome. 
Yeah. That's what I love about it. Every single, like, type. But then, like, we saw, like, Bex. Mm -hmm. She was dressed in, like, she was hot. She was in a really pretty ball gown, but she got hot. She went and put on some, like, little... All leather. Leather lingerie. Yeah, which that's what she wanted to wear. Yeah. So cool. Yeah. So it's really just, like, whatever you want to wear. Don't feel pressured to, like, Don't feel fit pressure. in. Don't feel pressured to fit in because everybody fits in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, sure. and then today, um, it was over that night, and we went back to our room, ended up eating our nachos. And <laughs> we're literally, and, we're, in a, we're sitting in a hotel takeover in our bed, eating nachos, and I'm like, wow. At, at like 12.30, and, and our, wow, our running joke is, is that we don't play at events, we sit in bed and eat food. Yeah. Um, and and then, scroll TikTok. And, and scroll TikTok. Or read. Yeah. So we, we ended up going to bed and then woke up this morning. That's the only thing I do love about not drinking. Like, I was thinking about it, like, this morning. Yeah, no, me too. See, then I'm, then I'm like, glad that I didn't drink because I'm, like, I'm not hungover at all. Not hungover at all. And then you're walking, like, everybody, like, had their rooms and doors and stuff decorated. And I'm walking down the hall and I noticed that most of the doors are all cleaned up and stuff. And I'm like, God, man, how would it be to be hungover trying to, like, tear down yeah, your, you have your, to repack your in the decorations and, and all yeah. that? Yeah. So that, that part made it nice. And now we're off to... We're driving back to Lincoln right now. And we're staying the night in Lincoln. And now I'm in the mood to play. I'm kind of... See, and now I'm annoyed. I always do this. And now I'm uh, annoyed I didn't play this weekend. Yeah, no. Oh, I knew, I knew it would happen. Trust me. Because when I woke up this morning even too, I'm like, man, it would have been really fun to just fuck someone with you. <sighs> and, then, and then I'm like, but last night, I have to acknowledge that last night how I felt. There's no way it was going to happen. <clears throat> and And that's okay. You know what I mean? But it is funny how we are like those, those, our battery recharged. We had a good night's sleep. Um, yeah. We woke up well rested. We woke up feeling good. So it's <clears> Sunday <throat> in Lincoln. You think anyone's down to play? <laughs> <laughs> Get on the apps, babe. I'm going to start scrolling my um, apps and be like, look, man. Look, we're here for, for one night. One couple did message me actually yesterday, or yesterday afternoon, and they were like, is your, at the event you're at, or is the event you're at in Lincoln? I don't know. They knew we were in Lincoln, and they were like, we live in Lincoln, like we'd love to come out. I didn't see it till like five last night. And I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. I just saw this. It's in Kearney. And, like, and then he didn't see it till like six. He's like, oh, bummer. I just look at their picture. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, and here's the fun thing too, is like when we do these events, we don't, our lifestyle, our life doesn't revolve around this lifestyle. Like we're looking forward to going to Lincoln. We have a nice hotel. Mm -hmm. We're going to go, go to check museum. out a few things. Yeah, we're going to go to a museum tomorrow. There's like a cool little market we're going to go check out. So. Yeah. Yeah, no, we're gonna go like we wanna also like see Lincoln and like do something fun and have a nice dinner and then just like chill in our with each other. Yeah. And yeah. and that's the fun is it's not just all lifestyle wise, it's also us. Sex, too. drugs, and rock and roll. Yeah, not all sex, drugs, and rock and roll. But anyways, we had a great time. Thank you, Crazy Winter Nights. Yes. Crazy Casba. Yes. Great to see Little everybody. Swap radio. Yes, everybody Little there. Swap Radio. Um, so yeah. Uh, that's this event will be on full swap. Oh, this podcast this, will be on full swap. This, full swap radio. this will be on full swap radio. Um, all right. Well, everybody have a good good day. rest of the day and keep warm. Keep warm. We will be back for episode three. three. Thank you for listening to our podcast and stay tuned for episode three. Make sure to check out the impulsive duo.com for more resources, our Facebook groups, lifestyle information, and more.